thought I'd bring you uh, yet another video. This is kind of an unboxing, even though I've already unboxed it, um, and sort of kind of review. Uh, I just kind of um, obviously wanted to put a few views out on this. Um, obviously, this being the first thing that initially came out with the Vita, obviously, there's now going to be better things out already, but obviously, kind of felt forced to buy this purely because of one reason. Um, Obviously I didn't want the screen to get scratched to bits, um, so I kind of needed to get a screen protector, which comes with this set. Um, I wasn't aware of how bad the cases are that come with this. Apparently the travel kit is slightly more expensive than this, and the case is actually better I believe. Um, so I made a boo-boo on this. Um, just show you the few things that I found kind of annoying about it, but um, as you can see, um, you get a strap which is kind of needed, um, you can see here, PSV uh, prepared area, it's kind of cheap and nasty but it's uh, kind of needed like uh, with the original PSP you kind of needed it because um, they're quite heavy um, and like I said if it slips out of hand at least it's not going to fall and break so obviously that's one item you get with this. Um, what Secondly obviously the screen protector I've put on there. Um, which I did want to get on there because obviously when you're touching the screen constantly with this device I didn't want to get it all mucky and uh, scratched and so on. So that's the only plus side I'd give this for this and for the front screen protector purely because I was forced into it because um, if I was to order it it would have taken a few days to get a, a sort of horry one or whatever so anyway that's that. Uh, what else do you get with it? Oh, yeah, we know obviously because we've got a dog on here. So we get this thing. Now, partly, first initial thing of using it, I thought it's quite a good idea. Um, but also very cheaply made and not very um, good protection. So you see, you put your PS Vita in like this, and you click it in on these points here doesn't want to, that's probably because that's in the way. Okay, it really doesn't want to go in this time. See if I can get at least one side in. What what is the problem here? Um, it's probably because this isn't in. It's a thing there. For some reason you can pull that out. So you can do marvellous things that they want you to do with this. So, I uh, can't even get it in. What's going on? Seems to be problems getting this in here. You bear with me, there we go. One in there. So, I'm not liking that already because that's over time going to scratch all that plastic, silvery stuff off the, uh, the um, console. So, that side's in, I think. Yeah. Okay, right. Now, the plus size of, of having this, uh, you can do this. But as you can see, there's not any protection on the sides there. If you dropped it, I very much doubt that's going to do anything. It's just going to open up and you're going to crack the side of your system there. Uh, so, it's an overall good protection. The other plus side, I guess, if you want to watch films, you can flip it around like this. I believe you do this to there and this thing that initially protects your screen pops out like a stand and you can do, if that holds in, there we go, we can have it like a movie stand, looks kind of shite but you know, I don't know what Sony was doing here but so basically you can have it like a stand, um, I don't really use it at all um, and I find like if you're going to be using this and that and this touch your screen if you've not got a screen protector you're getting all hairs and crap that will obviously rub away at the screen at time and you're going to get like what's happened to my PSP I did the same thing, um, got damaged through keeping it in and out of a pouch that's collecting dust. So that's BB number one. That case is crap. Uh, I will be getting a better one at some point. So I'll probably flog it on eBay or something. Um, you get an okay kind of uh, polishing cloth. Um, kind of not too bad. Pretty cool at removing uh, fingerprints and so on. 
obviously it's got the PSV logo on there, so it's not too bad. Um, and you get this sort of game case, which reminds me of the 3DS one I've got, which uh, holds all the game carts. Um, uh, it's kind of flimsy and cheap, um, but it does the job to um, hold your uh, game PSV uh, carts and you know the cards. So we can fit in how many, um, was that, eight and two memory cards, which is quite cool, I guess. So, and lastly, you get some nasty pouch thing, uh, which I remember come with uh, a starter kit for the PSP. Uh, I don't like this one at all. I preferred it when it was opened at the top, where you could just slide it in. This one, you actually have to slide it in that way and then put this over, and it just looks gay. As it's just crap, so probably sell this as well. Um, so it's kind of just a review, really. Um, I think for the price, I paid a bit much for it to be honest. I do know that you can get it for under a tenner. Um, wouldn't recommend getting this, probably get the travel version or just get the uh, um, the PSV case that game so I can't remember the name of the company that does it, third party company, basically a lot better case, better protection, loads of storage for your games and everything else. So, uh, But this was just general sort of uh, unboxing review of the PSV Start Kit. Obviously I know this is old and there's going to be some criticism saying well you could have bought something newer. But I was kind of forced into buying this um, and kind of disappointed in it. So. Um, Obviously, give it a score. I'd probably give it like three or four out of ten, um, being an official product. Um, but if you like the video, then please like, comment, subscribe. Also, follow me on Twitter. That's uh, at C Bailey two thousand five. Uh, you find me on Facebook. Just uh, click on the banner on YouTube. You'll find there's a link there to Facebook. Um, and uh, I'll get some more videos to you. Um, this was just the general unboxing review of the PSV Star Kit. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll get some more videos to you. Cheers. Thank you. Bye.